Hello everyone. If you are like me, you love to talk to your children and tell them what to do all the time and what not to do. So guess what? What is it that I'm going to do today? We are going to turn the tables and here we are going to focus on what is it that we need to stop ourselves from telling our children. The first thing to do is not repeat any of these words. Yes, you are right. I'm going to give you this list of phrases and remember never to tell them to your children. You may ask me, why do I do that? You know, how does it matter? You need to do that because yes, it matters. It matters today in the way you relate to your children. It will matter 10 years from now when children start viewing themselves as grown-up adults and it will matter even 30 years later when they are struggling with their relationships and having midlife crises. So coming back to the point, here are some of the things that you never ought to tell your children. Do not say. First sentence not to tell your children is, I do everything for you. When you tell a child this, the child feels incompetent and the child feels as though they cannot do anything without your support. Now consider the validity of this statement. Do you really do everything for your child? You don't. You may feel as though you do everything for your child, but if you are aware and if you are honest, you will realize the child does quite a few things by himself or herself. So if you want to give your child a solid foundation of healthy self-esteem, do not use this phrase. If you want to bring it to their notice, what is it that you do for them? Sit down, converse with them in a very quiet, in a very gentle manner and tell them, see, mama does this for you and mama is feeling a little overwhelmed with the responsibilities. Could you help out in some way? Give them that choice. So remember, I repeat, do not say this phrase to the child, I do everything for you because that strips their self-esteem like little else. Secondly, long term, what they pick up is that they are not responsible for their behavior and someone else is supposed to do things for them. They may even struggle with entitled behavior later on in life where they will expect everyone to do everything for them without taking the personal responsibility to do it themselves. The second thing not to tell your children is, it's not that big a deal or it's all right. Now imagine a situation where the child comes to you and tells you that, uh, Mama, I could not finish my homework and, uh, you know, I got a very bad scolding in class. Listen to the child. Don't say it's not that big a deal. Instead, ask them, how did you feel? What would you like to do next time? I understand this is really bothering you. And how did you feel embarrassed? How is it that you want to avoid it next time? So when you have a discussion regarding what they have felt, whether it's embarrassed, whether criticized, picked on, helpless, irresponsible. When you talk to them, they are able to process that feeling instead of repressing it or burying it. So let children voice their truth. Do not snub them. It does not help them in the long run. Now these are very simple things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis without realizing that it erodes our child's self-worth. So let's be mindful about what is it that we tell our children because at the end of the day, children are the future of our society and our community. They'll only be healthy adults when we are there as a supportive anchoring presence without dishing out guilt to them or snubbing them when they don't say things that suit us. So I hope this gave you some food for thought and introspect on your own quality of communication with your child and be vigilant about how is it impacting their emotional health and well-being. Have a good day and do reach out to me 
if you have any topic that you want me to talk about or some issue that you are struggling with. Seeking information or seeking help is never a bad idea. Ignoring it, repressing it is definitely bad. Take care and have a nice day.